What's up guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here and welcome back to the channel and today is going to be something a little bit different. Um, I've seen a bunch of other people do this and this has been requested a few times so today we're going to actually revisit the very first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube and just react to how bad it was. So just a real quick backstory for those of you who might be newer to the channel. Um, my first video that I ever uploaded, I never actually thought that I was gonna actually start a channel and be like regularly uploading. I thought it was gonna be a one-off thing. And the video was my attempt at doing a hair tutorial for a 10th Doctor hairstyle. Now, I've always been big into cosplay. I'm very into Doctor Who and the 10th Doctor is my doctor. Loved his hair. And that was kind of how I really got into the world of hairstyling. So. I think uh, I and this channel have come a very long way. I've learned a lot about hairstyling, and so we're gonna watch this video and just react to the bad hair advice that I gave. And um, yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be a bit of a train wreck, so I'm excited, but also nervous. Um, but yeah, so I have, <laughs> I have my iPad here ready to go, so we're gonna fire it up now. Uh, we're not gonna watch through the whole thing because the first problem with this video is that it was 20 fucking minutes long. So we are gonna skip around a little bit, but we'll make sure to hit all the extra bad parts. So, all right, let's uh, let's get started here and jump right in. Okay, so, well, yeah, there you go. Cheesy, Q cheesy Doctor Who inspired intro. Oh god, I'm a little scared. Hello everybody, Tenth Doctor Matt here, and in this video yeah. I'm going to be showing you how to style your hair like the Tenth Doctor. Now we're going to talk about- Yeah, so that's the other thing that my channel used to be called Tenth Doctor Matt, because I was like, yeah, I'm just going to make this one video about Tenth Doctor hairstyling. So sure, Tenth Doctor Matt, that works as a name. But as I evolved into what my channel is now, that's why I changed the name to TDM Style. I wanted to keep a piece of that original channel and since I do still enjoy cosplay and occasionally we'll do like a cosplay build video so quick history lesson for you there and yeah this video is in my bathroom the, uh, tenant hair in two different styles well two and a half really all right so first things first let's talk about the products we're going to use oh yeah I don't really actually remember most importantly Hair concrete. Oh, this is by Alterna. I so miss Alterna hair products. concrete. And that shit was great. Is, it's kind of like a wax, uh, but it's a little bit drier. It's less oil. It's not a wax. It was a clay. And, uh, it really um, nice. They don't make it anymore, and, uh, sadly, because that was a great product. Fantastic. I would still it's use it now if they, awesome. if they still made it. The really it. nice thing about this product is that it's really easy to reshape. Next, hairspray. What I use... Mm, yeah, that Tresemme freeze hold, hold, baby. It's the strongest hold hairspray. And um, what I really like so about it good. is that even though it gives you a really great hold, it doesn't turn your hair into a rock. So, you know, you're It totally does, though. That was... That why did I say that? Why? It does turn your hair into a rock. That shit's terrible. Really kind of what you're going for with this style. Now, if you have curly hair, like I do, you're gonna need straighteners. Um, and yeah. This was before I was really um, acquainted with, like, a blow dryer. Oh, that's a great pause phase, too. Sweet. Um, yeah, so... Um, totally did not use a blow dryer at all these days, and if I had, I wouldn't have really needed the straightener. Basically what's going to happen is you're going to be straightening your hair while it's still a bit damp. And you no, don't... see that's, that's bad. You don't want to straighten your hair when it's still damp. Don't do that. Blow dry it first. Uh, another thing that you might need if you have thick hair, again, like me, uh, you might want to buy a texturizing comb also known as a thinning comb. Uh, basically all it is, it's a- and That's something, I haven't used that in a long time. I don't fuck with that anymore. Um, Cause it's really easy to accidentally go overboard or hold it at the wrong angle and you can just cut your hair all kinds of wonky or end up with like a bald spot. It's, it's not good news. Word of advice about this. When you comb this through your hair, you Okay, really at least, at least I did mention like the right way to use it so that you don't end up with a bald spot. My hair looks okay in the side view actually. Forward. Or especially if you comb against the grain, you could very Hasn't well been that it. short in a long time, boy. Alright, this last one is an optional product, and that's hair dye. No, no, no. No. No, no. Don't use that. No. This, this is bad. Come on, son. Come on, son! So, this video was posted, I, I think this was before I even started getting my hair cut by my stylist Sam, who I've been going to for several years now. I was like going to cost cutters, 
which like number one, don't go there. And I was box dyeing my hair all the time. Don't box dye your hair. If you're gonna dye your hair, go to the salon and pay the professionals to do it the right fucking way because this Garnier shit that I'm using in this video or well, talking about in this video, it's not good. None of them are good. If you're spending $6 on a box of hair dye, you're gonna get $6 worth of results. And it's very possible that you're gonna fry your hair or it's just gonna come out a weird color that's not on the box. And that's probably part of the reason that my hair looks frizzy as fuck in this video. Just don't, don't use box dyes, man. Talk about Sticky Uppy version one. Like, all right, so we're at five and a half minutes and I'm just now getting into the first part of the hair tutorial. That's bad. That's just way too long. Um, yeah, I don't do that anymore. Do I? No. Right? Okay, sticky uppy V1. Let's go. Okay, first things first, wash your hair. Next, you want to give your hair a good towel dryer. Oh, I'm not ready for use this. A dryer, you can do that. Personally, I've never had great success with it in my hair. No, because no, I didn't have good success with a blow dryer because I had no idea what I was doing and I didn't practice and I didn't know how to use one. Oh, the towel dry scene is not good. good. I remember this. Oh God, no, don't do that. Don't do that either. Right. Look how bad, look at how bad it looks. <laughs> look at how bad it looks. That's what happens when you roughly towel dry your hair like that. Don't do that. Like, I'm not trying to say that towel drying your hair is bad. It's not, as long as you do it the right way. There's, don't vigorously do this. It's a horrible, bad idea. Cause that, you're pulling hairs out. And like I said, when your hair is wet, it's at its most fragile state already. So you're just roughing it up and you're making it frizzy. When you towel dry your hair, just gently like pat and squeeze the water out. Don't do this vigorous crap that I literally just suggested to you in this video. I'm sorry for suggesting that. If anybody actually did that and fucked up their hair, I'm sorry. And this will take out most of the remaining moisture. <sighs> also bad. Like I said before, don't use a straightener to remove moisture from your hair. It's just a recipe for disaster. Start with a decent finger fold. All right. So I wasn't like too, too bad. Really the, uh, hey, at least I got that right. I feel like a lot of people, that's their problem. They don't realize they really need to emulsify products. So hey, at least I, I did something right here. Okay. That's true. Right. Now you want to work it in. I usually start with the back half. Okay. And what's really I don't even remember I did that. You really want to make sure you get the roots. Because if you have too much hair concrete on the ends of your hair and not enough on the roots, as you might expect, your hair's gonna fall over. Okay. Again, decent advice. You really wanna work it Listen to that though. Best you can. Like it sounds so dry. It was dry, let's be real. Now, now's the time to sort of get that. Oh my god, it literally sounds like I'm fucking combing straw. That's what box dye does, folks. Don't fuck around with box dye, I'm telling you. All right, so once you're done styling, um, if your hair is on the shorter side, you probably won't need Man, look at that just looks so bad the in the really front. Like, look at that. Really it's not straightened out but enough. A bit like mine. It's still curly. Yeah, so if you don't use much, it's so short, too. I think really, to be real, it, it could have stood to be longer for and this hairstyle. Front, you want to make sure you try and get the roots. Like it looked better in the beginning of the video before I washed it and did the style again. <laughs> and now, before the hairspray totally sets, you just kind of want to put your finishing touches on, you know, smooth out That's the areas that are sticking up. Not the best advice. I mean, some hairsprays you can do that. Like I have a hairspray now that's moldable that you can do. But typically with a hairspray, you, it's one of those like you want to spray it in when your look is done and you want to not touch it. Um, so what I'm doing here in this video is kind of defeating the purpose of that hairspray. And that about does it for Sticky Uppy version one. That just so looks... Let's, uh, let's talk about version two. Ugh. It's not good. It's, it's not good. All right, so version two. Yeah. Version two, I imagine the first bit is the same, so... No, we're getting with the towel drying. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> no. Fix the signs. Oh God, come on, son. You can't be that rough. Get 
Your hair is already dry and fucked up. Like, don't be more rough with it. Also, I think it's worth mentioning that at this point in my life, I had no idea what a pre-styler was, and I wasn't using any kind of, you know, um, leave-in conditioning type of things, so that was just making my hair more dry. I mean, I was using- I don't remember even if I was using good shampoo and conditioner at this point. I might not have been. Um, so just all of those factors together with the box dye on top. That's literally why my hair sounds and looks like straw in this video. This style is a little bit different. You know, the main thing with this version of the sticky of pink is- Like that, that looks okay. That this, the whole thing would have looked better if I had a better haircut and the sides were shorter and more tapered. Cause I don't know what, this must have been grown in for like four weeks or something. Like it does not look good. It kind of doesn't look terrible either, so but it, it's not great. And now it's time for hairspray. Same deal. Why? Like, best. you don't need, if you're using, like, the, the hair concrete was, like, a Press. really stronghold clay. If you're using that, you don't, you don't even need yeah. hairspray. Like, why? Why? Yeah! Especially because I feel like the 10th Doctor hairstyles are, like, kind of flowy and soft and fairly natural looking. Like, you ain't got hairspray in those, boy. So uh, now let's talk about the barefoot on the moose style for when your hair's a bit longer. I remember, I think I waited like a couple weeks before filming right, this part so of the video. The right yeah, my hair's definitely longer, but it looks like a fucking, like a bowl shape. Like it's just not, that cut was just not good. Cost cutters, you fucked me up. Also, like, <laughs> look at what I'm using the straightener. Like, I'm just, bam, bam. Like, it's not gonna do anything if you go that fast. Like, it's not, you have to go slowly with it. It also helps to straighten more if you're actually doing it on fucking dry hair the right way. This is, at least this third one, I feel like is a pretty unique hairstyle. And I do still like this one. It's one of my favorite, like, 10th Doctor looks, really. See, I mean, so okay, it's not a terrible looking final style. It doesn't... Yeah, complete with bad English accent. Well done. Oh god, the super cringy part. That's better. Hello. Allons-y. Good lord. It's... Oh. Uh, okay. That's enough. Okay, so that was a fun blast from the past. Um, yeah, obviously you can see how uh, things have changed between then and where I'm at now. Um, I definitely have learned a tremendous amount. And, you know, obviously, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, for those of you who might be newer to the channel, and maybe you didn't even see this, maybe you didn't know that this is where my channel started. So, I mean, really at the core, I was kind of doing the same things then that I'm doing now. I mean, I really was doing a hair tutorial, but, you know, most of it was cosplay based. Then it was all about Doctor Who. Um, so, after a while of doing that and, and finding out that I enjoyed making videos and I started, you know, doing um, more different things, branching out into cosplay prop reviews and stuff, then I started watching some of the men's hair and grooming channels and I started learning about hair and I went to a real stylist and I stopped using fucking box dye garbage. <laughs> um, so, and you know, so at this point, I know so much more, and obviously I've I've got a much better setup here. I've, I hope that the quality is 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 much better for you, um, you know. But like I said, it, it's fun to kind of go back and just kind of remember where my channel started. Although I am sorry for all that bad advice. Not a good time. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had a fun time making it, although it was definitely cringy at parts, which I fully expected. And you know, it's fun just doing something a little bit different every now and again. But uh, as usual, I have a ton of hair content coming up. I've got lots more product reviews to do. I've got some new products that are coming out that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys. So if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all that stuff. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you at the next one. Thank you.